Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go back to the basics. What basics? Well, the fact that Jamovi is based on R. Yeah, R, that programming language slash that statistical language. Ooh wee. Yeah, there are two modules that you can add to your Jamovi to help you get more familiar and more comfortable with R to do a lot more powerful things and to find out how this Jamovi program actually works. It's quite cool. So in this one, I want to talk to you about the R editor. Okay, this module is something that you add on to allow you to use R syntax and R code and get output in Jamovi. So this is great for comparing output in Jamovi, which has a nice little shell and, and a wrapper around it and that makes it look nice, put your tables into APA format, all of that stuff. And then compare all of that nice stuff to the basic text-based output that you get from R. And whether you use just the R editor on Mac or PC or you use um, a more uh, functional uh, client like RStudio, which is I use RStudio, the free version, whenever I find myself in R because you get can, especially if you use like GG Stats Plot 2, the package to create really amazing looking uh, graphics, uh, figures and, and such, um, you really want to be able to see those right away. And so that's why I use RStudio. So you're not going to get all of what our studio has to offer here in Jamovi, but it is a good way. And the use case here is for teaching both Jamovi and, you know, point and click slash graphical user interface statistical programs with a uh, language based program like R. Right. So they both do similar things, especially in psychology, sociology, et cetera. But to have like the biggest impact in your career, you know, maybe learning R, <laughs> that's a thing for me, maybe learning R is probably a good path to go and this will, this module will help you. That was a long introduction as to why I wanted to talk about it. This is uh, version 2.3.16, the most updated version you can find on jamovi.org as of recording. So let's talk about where you get this module. So you go up to modules, right, modules up here, click on that, it's, it's behind something here, but I'm gonna go to Jamovi library and I'm gonna type in R and it's gonna find me all all of the R stuff, everything about R, right? So including one of the devs, Ravi Selker, um, which I think is super funny. But um, what we're going to do is we are going to talk about this one, the RJ editor to run R code inside Jamovi. It's version 2.0.6. And, um, and it's by one of the main Jamovi developers, Jonathan Love, uh, provides an editor allowing you to enter R code and analyze your data using R inside Jamovi, making a one-stop shop, especially if you are learning or teaching Jamovi and R side by side. Okay, so I have that installed, so we're gonna go find that. So when we scroll here, we're gonna scroll, 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 scroll. Now you can see that I have this R right here, and then I have this base R right here. Stay tuned, there is a video coming on base R coming up next. They are not the same module, so I wanna be clear. Base R is not the same as R on the module menu. So this is what we're, this is where we're gonna find the RJ, R standing for R and J standing for Jamovi, RJ Editor. Now, you can see that we have two selections here, RJ Editor and RJ Editor Plus. Let me show you both of them, they're essentially the same. So the RJ Editor, as we open up, is just an editor okay you have to set up your data as it is set up okay and we'll i'll set up some uh, i'll open up some data here in just a second um and then rj editor plus sort of eases you into the data the data table management so that's how jamovi or that's how excuse me that's how r reads data is through a data table the data table is essentially a um or and data frame is essentially a spreadsheet <laughs> similar i probably would be wrong if i said they're the same if somebody knows r a little bit better than me can tell me that they are different or you know if they are the same that's fine um, i don't mind being wrong in this case that's why i'm saying i don't know if they are the same but if we click on rj editor plus we get this variable um this variable view here which is nice which is nice um and so by default both come with summary of the data and the interesting thing about here is that whatever data you have open it doesn't matter what it's called it will always come under data and that's kind of what's working under the hood of R whenever you open a data set and um, do any kind of, of functionality like a t-test or something like that. It's, that's essentially what the code is running. So here you're running code <laughs> sort of in a wrapper to give you just the R output, which is funny, which is, which is great. I, I love it, right? Because it's still a graphical user interface. It's still assisting you. So let's open um, up some basic data. It's going to open up in a new window. I always love, love when that happens. I, I wish it didn't do that. But we're going to go to open. And we're just going to open the big five data set. This is probably the most common data set I use just because everyone can follow along with me at um, home or at work when, in, when you're in Jamovi. So I've got those two open. We'll leave that window open, but we will expand the size of this window. And again, <laughs> ignore the uh, the letters popping up there. Option is how you expand a window without making it full screen. I don't want it to be full screen. And it pops up the alt keys, basically. All right, so we've got our data open, our big five, neuroticism, extroversion, openness, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. And let's scroll down here to the R. R. And we're going to use the RJ Editor Plus just because um, I like doing that. 
And um, we've got our variables here. Now, uh, the summary data is in there by default. I kind of want to show you how that works by doing this. So I don't want it to be in there by default. Right now, it doesn't know that anything is in the data table. So we are going to add our variables to the data table. So we're going to add all five. And of course, it gave me all of the summary, even though I deleted the summary. So show, um, anyways, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Um, now let's go over what this window looks like. Okay, so ignore the output here for a sec. Let's, let's summary, and then we're going to do, it's not, I don't want space, data. Uh, and then actually we'll run that line. Okay, there it is. We did it. I guess deleting it doesn't really delete the code underneath it for Jamovi to do it, which is fine. You'll always get the summary of your data. All right, let's talk about this. So we've got our five variables in. We've got a summary of our data. The summary is across uh, in a tabular form here. We have our minimum value, our first quartile value, our median, our mean, and our, this median is the second quartile value because it's 50%. Our third quartile value, 75 percentile, and then our max. This is all you get from the summary. Okay, um, so let's go through this here. So we have our play button, which is to run any line, okay? Or if we highlight, then we'll run whatever we highlight, okay? So just if you're not familiar with how these, um, these kinds of programs run, that's how you do it. I, I had to do C++, C++ in uh, college, and um, before I figured that out, oh man, things were, things were rough. Things were rough. Anyways. So that's our run command. You can also run any line or any uh, selection of lines by holding command shift enter, or I would imagine uh, that would be control shift enter on PCs, uh, but I don't know. I don't use them. Okay. Uh, and then we have this gear here. You can show the output only, which is this, or you can show the code and output, which is the code here summary. And this would be useful if you're sharing this, if you wanted to export this, uh, there is a bug here that I need to report that uh, right click isn't working. Right click. In any case, you need to select this somehow and you can export it or, or whatever. There's a bug that I've noticed over the last week or so. Um, so you can do that, and that would be useful if you're sharing it because then you would have the code all there for the uh, person that you're sharing it with. Um, figure size in pixels, by default, it is this wide, but if you want something wider, then you can create uh, a value here. You can say 1,000 pixels wide. It's not going to change anything that I currently have, right? I have all of this empty space right here, and so if I knew how wide this was, I could, and I had a lot more data, then it would be easier to... To, to tell, um, or if you delete it and leave it blank, then it'll be the default, which is pretty much this width right here. The R version, um, you can do Jamovi R, which will give you this, um, this data and how it looks, or you can use the R that is underneath, which is the base R uh, look, still courier, courier new, whatever it is, um, but it looks a little different. Uh, do I have to run the... Well, oh, interesting, it didn't work, got rid of it. There it's again. So um, if anybody knows why system R isn't working, but Jamovi R is, please let me know. Um, I don't know enough about why that would be the case. So there we go. All right. So what are some things that we can do? Well, this has the entire R. I don't know why I did that. Uh, this has the entire R set of functions without packages, of course. So if you have package related functions in R, R Studio, then this isn't going to work. But you can look at head and uh, put data in there. And then, oops, I keep doing that. Uh, I keep wanting to hit enter. Uh, but if we run that, we can get our head on here, and this will give us the first six. It's interesting. I think it's 10 by default on R, so just be aware of that, um, that uh, it'll only give you the first six cases. But that'll tell you that you've got your data table set up properly. And, of course, you know that because you have your variables and, and data sheet here, right? This obviously is just a reproduce, reproduction of the first six rows. It's good to know that it's reading the data table correctly. Um, we could do uh, simple base Jamovi functions like correlation. So we could do correlation of the data, and it's going to run a correlation across all... Keep just hitting enter, and that's not how you do this. So here you, here you go. We have the correlation of the data. Um, now, if I were to expand the width of this, let's do 1,000 pixels. It didn't get wider. Let's see if 1,000 pixels makes that taller. No. Huh. Uh, 16 by 9. Yeah, so 1080... Yeah, it doesn't make it wider. So if you're, oh, that's for figures. What am I doing? <laughs> that helps to read. All right, maybe it doesn't do it for the tabular data. It would be nice to see conscientiousness up here is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, and if you have larger correlation matrix, that would be what I'm saying there. <laughs> so correlation of the data. And so it ran a correlation. You can see that the one, the autocorrelations are down the diagonal there. And so you can just run this. And then if you put um, the pound symbol or hashtag, whatever, whatever generation you're from, um, and leave comments, you can do that too and they won't be a part of what you do next. So if I were to do leave comments and then do, uh, let's just do summary again, because that's a dummery. Uh, boop, I keep, keep doing that. I'm so, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, but I don't, I want to do this and then run that. So it puts the leave comments there, right? And so really great that you can set it up so you can show code and output, because if you share this with somebody, then they know exactly what the code is for, right? So leave comments. Um, the, uh, 
and then you would uh, do something like um, uh, summary give uh, summary summary gives you gives you your um, uh, min max uh, mean median no mode apparently and then twenty fifth and seventy fifth percentiles or you can even be cheeky and do percentiles <laughs> I love doing that. And it's great because anything with a hashtag in front of it on the same line doesn't um, mess up your thing. All right. And so it ran the data. It didn't replace it. So it didn't add more information, but it then added the line at the bottom, which is pretty cool. So that is the RJ editor in Jamovi. If you have any questions, suggestions, other feedback, or other comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. I get to all of them. And I'd love to hear back from you, especially on uh, some of the idiosyncrasies. <laughs> this like uh the r version that would be that would be very cool if you have any imp input on that thank you for watching